Hi, welcome. In this video, I will take you through my process of painting clouds on leather with oil paint and then pouring resin on it and turning it into a handbag. If you're here for the mushroom videos, uh, YouTube took those down so they're no more. These bags can be worn on the shoulder, on crossbody, on the hip, as a backpack or in their own unique styles. Uh, I wanted to show you my process sketchbook because I think the process is sometimes more interesting than the end result. So uh, I'm showing you my sketchbook in reverse. The last cloud painting is the last uh, thing I drew in here. And the first ones are more based on composition and the, uh, later on I experiment with more color. Before moving on to painting on leather, I first experimented on paper, I watched some YouTube videos on how to paint clouds and experimented with different techniques. Here are my colors for this painting. Titanium white, ultramarine blue, mau, cadmium red deep, and the ivory black. I'm going to start by mixing my background color. And that's going to be ultramarine blue mixed with mau and a little bit of white. And that's my local sky color. Now I will make the general dark values on the clouds. Next I will make the light value of the clouds that are closer to the sun. This is the leather face for the handbag. I dyed it black to pour resin on it, but now I want to paint gesso on top of it and make it ready for oil paint. I like to mix my gesso with water and brush it on leather in uh, layers so gesso can slip into the pores of leather and bind together. Now that I'm ready for painting, I will mix some raw umber with turpentine and paint it on an even leather on my leather face. With a thin cotton swab stick, I will draw where I want my cloud shapes to be. Uh, with my local sky color, I will begin to lay down thick strokes of paint with a sable brush. With the dark valley of the clouds, I begin places where the cloud is turning away from the sun.
Now I will add the light rally of the clouds that are closer to the sun. After separating the light and dark values, I blend some of the areas for softer turns on the clouds, but not on all, all, all of it. And then I focus on the edges of the clouds and blend some of that in with the blue to express some wind. I also made another style with straight clouds which is already on its way to Alaska to its new owner. Uh, to see the process video for that one, check out my Instagram or TikTok. I let the oil painting dry for about two days before pouring resin on it. The streaks from oil painting quickly disappear with depth of resin. I also sprinkled some mica powder on the edges of the design. But that didn't really make that big of a difference unless you go under the sun and then it's going to sprinkle sparkle because makeup powder is in the you know when you're walking down new york city streets at night and you look down and you're like whoa this stars are on there's a galaxy on the ground that's makeup powder so that is inside of the bag Before I move on to stitching, I want to paint the back of the face black because of the impurities of resins pouring and drying process. There's no way to cut those out or sand them out, so better paint on them to disguise them instead. First thing I will do is to attach the face of the bag to the ring it's going into. Uh, I use a type of stitch named whip stitch. I will start to attach the face of the bag to the bag itself. In the process of attaching the body to the face, I also use whip stitch because it's very easy to do and very fast. In the beginning of the day when I start stitching, it's kind of hard to pull the needle, usually because my hand is not warmed up yet. Also the angle of the needle uh, going in the holes are not aligned in the first couple stitches, so it becomes a little hard, but it gets easier over time. Uh, I wrap the wax thread around my finger and pull it tightly, so the stitches are nice and, nice and strong and tight. That is also the reason why I wrap flexible tape around my fingers to protect them from blisters while pulling the threads. 
Uh, it is quite difficult to get used to stitching leather bags like these just because the leather is so thick and it's not like uh, soft. It's not soft leather, it's pretty dense. In the beginning, when I started making these bags, it used to take me uh, like three hours, four hours to stitch one bag. But now I can do like six bags a day with front and back. So it just gets easier over time. I mean, it got easier for me. <laughs> And there you have it. That is how I make these handbags. I will make more. You can check them out on my website. Thank you so much for coming here and whatnot. Like, subscribe, share, you know, follow me on Instagram or TikTok or both. And I hope you have a really good day and hope to see you next time. Goodbye!